Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe now breaking down the results of the recount county by county. And the margin between President Trump and Joe Biden really hasn't changed much over the last month. Yeah, it has by numbers, but not percentage. But let me explain. These are the final numbers. I've been standing in front of this board now for over a month, but this is it. This is the final after three counts. Uh, Joe Biden wins Georgia by 11,779 votes. Now you're saying, wait a second, wasn't he leading by 13,558? That was the first count. Then the second count, 12,284, and now 11,779. How could it be off by 1,700 votes? Uh, it's important important to point out, let's write a, erase the board for a second, that that amounts to 0.035% of nearly 5 million ballots. Another way of putting that is the election in all three counts was 99.965% accurate. Isn't that something? Uh, why did they change? We had those uh, ballots coming out of Floyd County, about 2,400 of them. That was half the discrepancy in the hand count. Uh, and then we also had the problem in Fulton County uh, where there was an overvote of about 681 votes. Uh, that actually would have attributed uh, sort of against Joe Biden because those votes essentially were taken away. In Floyd County, uh, uh, Donald Trump gained votes. So that's why we're at this final number, but this is it, barring any judicial challenges. Brendan Keith, thank you on this Monday afternoon.